Today I'm back building my Castle in the Sky map and I want to talk about adding cinematic scenes into your adventure maps. I'm going to show you what I've built and then I'm going to show you how I did it. Let's go. So this is the starting sequence to my map. They'll start off right here. There's a little description of what to do. They'll go through this door and then they'll come meet this gnome. And he says, come in, I've been waiting for you. I have exciting news about Laputa. Laputa is the name of the island in the sky. A pilot recently took this photo to the left. Oh my gosh, I misspelled took. Laputa is real. You must go and find the legendary floating city and explore, and explore its mysteries. So right here, this will be a photo of the island at some point once I figure that out. <laughs> then you're hit talk to Professor Muska again and then brush up on your history by reading some of the books in my library. When you're ready, meet my pilot at the airport he will take you there so there's some uh, books around you can click on and it'll give you some history about the island that I've looked up this is something from Go uh, like Gulliver's travels and the castle in the sky movie the same technology that kept Laputa airborne also made it a major power that once dominated the entire planet okay now here's where the cinematic is and this is just auto plays until there's a part where there's a button that shows up that I push to get to the next scene so I'm just gonna let this play through and I'm gonna read the prompts that are coming up here we go we leave for the plane we flew straight into the strange looking cloud and now look at this mess we're in why do we take on jobs like this? You never complain about the money when you're shopping for your shoe collection, Jimmy. Oh, shut up, John! <laughs> what is this purple lightning? <gasps> I never, I've never seen anything like it. Oh, we lost engine two! Hey, back there, and you better buckle in. This is going to get rough. What was that? Ah! And then you hit buckle in quick. And then you're in this black screen sometime later. You appear in the crashed plane. At some point, I'm gonna have text that kind of comes up and says, uh, you know, it has the thoughts of the main character or something like that. I can't believe I just fell right there. Um, but uh, yeah, the, that text will come up, explain what's happening. And then the player will have to figure out where they have to go, you know, park car over here. And then eventually jump over here. Let's see if I can do this first try. This is kind of a hard jump. There we go. Jump over here, and then they'll get on their adventure through the castle in the sky, um, jumping around, trying to figure out where they're supposed to go next. So I really wanted that to be in my adventure map because I want this to be a really fun experience for people. I talked about my last video about this, about wanting to wow people. Having a cinematic experience like that that gets people sucked into the story really help people to enjoy your map. So I had to build it in because I just wanted that like intro of what was going on with the castle in the sky before you're like jumping in and parkouring around and stuff. So now let me show you how I did it. Okay, so I set up my main area right here at the beginning um, where this is where you go in and then you, you'll hit this trigger and then when you hit that trigger, it teleports you just on the other side of the wall. I don't know why I didn't just have a door there um, because I wanted it to kind of feel mysterious as you were going through into this glowing area. But then it teleports you over here and then I have uh, two buttons here set up um, to activate different billboards and then I have this is a really interesting feature here on buttons let me show you guys so you open up the button and then right here under interaction radius you can change that to different size I this right here it's 0.5 and this makes it so buttons are a lot easier to find because if it's just on like a normal button setting then you have to be like right in front of it doing the right angle that kind of thing but with this thing on it just shows up from wherever you are. I like that a lot in my maps. I just hate trying to find a button and just to get the right angle. Once you get through this conversation, then this button activates back here. You come push that and then it warps you over to the plane right here. And then this is uh, my plane off in the distance here. I mean, it looks like kind of crazy uh, from the build perspective, but I just use the, the plane cockpit and then I put a bunch of the engines around so that when you're standing in here, it sounds like you're in a moving plane. Okay, so now this is kind of the hard part of the setup. So I have a bunch of billboards here. They're all set to uh, inactive. So you'll see right here my billboard settings. They're all set to uh, enable during phase none. So it, I think this is a glitch in the system right now, but it makes it totally invisible even in the editors, which is kind of annoying. But there's a bunch of billboards right there. And what I have them all hooked up to is this sequencer. So as soon as I transport over to the plane, 
this activates and then it starts. And now I've timed this all out to be uh, to go as long as I want. So it's, first it hits channel 30, 93, 92, and it goes all the way down. And you can see, like right here, is when a bomb explodes, and someone says, "Engine two is out." And then right here, a bomb explodes, and they uh, and he says, "What was that?" And then another bomb, and they say, "Ah!" Right. So that's the timing of this sequence here. And then with each button activating. The billboards are all activating and deactivating. So like, let's look at this billboard here. So this is the one that says, what was that? When it receives from channel 84, it activates. And then when it receives from channel 83, which is the next one, I know I'm counting backwards, but that's the next one. It hides the text and activates the next board. So it looks like there's this conversation happening between these two characters while the plane is flying, etc. I thought it was really cool to do that because I just had never seen anything like that in a map before. And I thought it was really cool to have like this back and forth conversation. And I liked having the like explosives go off. So this is when the right engine blows up. And then this is just some other explosions that they don't know what's going on. And it just makes it for a much more immersive experience than just, you know, warping straight over to the island or even just starting at the island. And I love these purple clouds and layering them a bit so that it felt a little bit more deep. And then I had to put a black background behind it because um, you could go through it and you would see that glowing off in the distance and I didn't want that. Now I know I'm really simplifying this guys right now and that I'm- This took me two or three hours to set up. Point of what I'm getting at here is to add really fun immersive things into your maps that people will remember. Not a lot of adventure maps have done things like this. Like there's a lot of things where, you know, you teleport from one location to another, but I've rarely played maps where there's some just really good you know, storytelling elements. I'm excited to get this map out to you guys. I'm getting pretty close to having this totally finished. This inside part should be uh, easier than the other parts, but who knows, I gotta figure out how this is all gonna work.